Disneyland Paris is embarking on a massive expansion plan, completely changing its second park, Walt Disney Studios, to Disney Adventure World. Join us as we reveal what the resort has in store and what changes we can expect in the next years. From a new frozen land to brand new experiences coming to Disney Village, let's see how Disneyland Paris is changing forever. We start in Walt Disney Studios, soon to be rebranded to Disney Adventure World. If you are currently visiting the park, well, you are in for a wild ride. Studio One closed to become Disney World Premiere, while to retain the original spirit of the lights camera Hollywood, we can expect a new brother theme. You are invited to the premiere of your next adventure. One side features the glitz and glamour of a Hollywood street, with many star displays and even a reference to searchlight pictures. Guests will also be able to step foot on the Walk of Fame, with the iconic stars potentially feature some fan favorite actors. The other side will feature a food court, Hollywood Gardens restaurant, where you'll dine in a world premiere party. Guests then pass through this theater facade called the Disney Theater. Here guests will be the stars of their own adventure. If you miss the old Studio One, then I have some good news for you, as it seems as if Herbie was moved to the Musée Cinéma et Miniature in Lyon. With the closure of Studio One, guests must now circumnavigate the building via this former backstage path. Signs inform guests to keep right. In fact, the whole production courtyard section is filled with construction walls. The new entrance building renamed World Premiere will reopen in spring 2025. This area is expected to become World Premiere Plaza with lush gardens and trees, thankfully. In fact, we can already see the necessary work for such accomplishments being done right now. This area currently holds the park's major shows such as Mickey le Magician, Together, a Pixar musical adventure, and Disney Junior. Disney claims that the decor will be inspired by facades of Broadway and West End theaters. This could potentially refer to these signs for Disney Junior and Stitch Live, showcased in the concept art. On the concept art, we can spot many new details like the fact the partner statue will be slightly moved, and the addition of this sorcerer Mickey statue, potentially the one that marked the entrance of the former Toon Studios land, surrounded by more miniature statues that already exist. This new area will look like a more elegant street. On the animation celebration side, we can spot a new kiosk, for instance. Then we move to Adventure Way. Adventure Way is the area that leads to Adventure Bay, the park's main water feature. This promenade area will feature lush gardens, like the English Garden, and you can also find a ride here, themed to Tangled, Rapun's Tangled Spin. This flat ride will bring guests into the iconic Lantern Festival from the hit film. We can see the structure for this ride is very much on its way up. As we arrive at the shores of Adventure Bay, not to be confused with Paw Patrol, of course, we see the massive Regal View restaurant and lounge. This venue will offer incredible views of the bay and also some encounters with your favorite princesses. On the other side, we have the restrooms. They are located in this beautiful pavilion building. If we take a look at the bay, you can see there is ample space for viewing the water feature. Potentially, this could be used for shows, allowing for efficiency and entertainment. We can also see this nice bridge that leads to the maintenance area. This giant area can store boats and potentially some nighttime show elements. The main focal point of Disneyland Paris' massive new expansion is World of Frozen. This land will immerse guests in the world of the ever so popular franchise. Guests will be able to spot the North Mountain from the bay as they enter the Kingdom of Arendelle we might be able to spot Scandinavian inspired architecture. The land will also feature this lighthouse and a port area, similar to Hong Kong Disneyland's version. The main ride will be quite similar to Frozen Ever After, also at Hong Kong Disneyland. Overall, Arendelle World of Frozen will change the way guests visit Disneyland Paris forever. 
With such an immersive land, the theme tune, one of the most successful franchises ever, guests might now consider the second gate as the reason to visit the resort. If we take a look at its satellite images, we can also spot some potential expansion slots, specifically next to World of Frozen. Now, let's move to Disney Village. When this area originally premiered in 1992, it was called Festival Disney. Architect Frank Gehry originally envisioned this area as a retail and entertainment center adjacent to the railroad station. The original design features this massive structure that metaphorically simulates electric power lines. This gave the original project a sense of energy and excitement to it. However, over the years, these design features were slowly removed, and now Disney Village is also under massive renovations, with the reimagining of the facades. We saw the first phase of this with the opening of Rosalie. However, much work still needs to be done. According to Disney, two new Disney shop concepts will be introduced by the end of the year. A lifestyle shop, replacing Disney Gallery and Disney Fashion, and Disney Home. The LEGO store will also have a facelift, with a new brick-built mural. The sports bar will also be upgraded. Be prepared as the current location will soon close its doors and undergo a complete makeover. Expected to reopen in 2025, this location will feature greater seating capacity and a redesigned plant field terrace. Redesigned interior and food and beverage offerings will also be available. Disney describes that the bar will be reimagined in the style that fits into the new upscale and contemporary identity of Disney Village. The all-new sports bar and lounge will feature redefined design that gives a subtle nod to different types of sports. The bar premises will be merged with the New York-style sandwich restaurant. The current terrace will be converted into a plant field patio facing the bar, located in the heart of the venue. Now, you can catch your favorite team on the big screen. Just hope that they don't lose in front of the whole crowd. The interior is what we would expect when it comes to current design trends. An interesting choice personally has got to be the use of green as an accent color. The concept art showcases an art mural outside, inspired by Walt Disney's How to Play Football, featuring Goofy being himself. The mural was dreamed up by legendary Disney animator Eric Goldberg. The concept art also showcases the exterior of the Disney Wonder Store, currently the Disney Store. This venue is due to be completely reimagined, so be sure to enjoy the current locations while you can. The guest pathways will also be updated, featuring new landscaping and statues from the Gardens of Wonder that you might remember from the 30th anniversary. A new McDonald's will also be located close to the event tent. We can see Disney demolish a bit of the tent to accommodate such a location. The new design of the McDonald's is a showcase of what the brand currently stands for, with wooden accents and many planters. Hopefully, it will be much easier to grab a table at this location. But that's not all, as Disneyland Paris is slated to get a whole new McDonald's by 2026. After a preparatory phase, work on the new restaurant will begin in September 2024, with an opening planned for early 2026. However, the current McDonald's will remain open, since the new location is not on the exact same place as the existing shop. This is because Disney Village is set to expand beyond its existing perimeter. We can see this in the concept art Disney shared. We can expect more to come in the near future. Speaking of that, in the satellite images we can spot a new berm being built in an area most of you guys probably have never been to. Well, this is because this area is slated for a potential third gate. Taking advantage of the land works required for the Adventure Bay, they were able to use the land to create a berm surrounding this parcel of land. We are very excited to see what the future holds for the entire resort. However, if you want to discover what the resort currently offers, and that is incredible design, well, be sure to check this video on the screen right now, as I showcase the genius design behind Disneyland Paris.